Hello, my sweet, sweet friends. Welcome back to my channel, my dirty ass hair. So, we are going to do a get ready with me, a chit chat video, a chatty vi Did I literally just say the same thing? A chit chat video, a get ready with me video, a chatty video. <sighs> well, one of those days. Also, I am crampy AF. So, if I keep talking about my cramps, I'm sorry. Let's just move that there. Like, oh my god, it's just not there. Um, okay, first thing we're gonna do is put our hair up because girls who do their hair with their makeup down, you are a unicorn and I don't really understand it, but God bless. Um, okay, put your hair up, Marissa, so you don't get, wow, wow. Enough grease in this hair to fry a tortilla chip, you know what I mean? Now my hands are really dirty, but I don't care. It's fine, it's fine. <sighs> You guys, okay. Shade Light, It Cosmetic CC, what's on the back of my hand? Oh, self tanner. It Cosmetic CC Cream in the shade Light. Um, We are going to use our It Cosmetics. I've actually been using a new foundation brush. I know it's so weird, so crazy. This is the Heavenly Luxe Flat Top Buffing Foundation Brush. Um, I am self tanned right now, so I'm actually, will probably somewhat match what I'm doing today, which is very rare for everyone. Um, okay. I love this stuff. We know I've been using this for like three years now. I feel like I should zoom you in a little bit. And the only thing that I'm getting ready for today is to film more videos. I wasn't going to go all out. I wasn't even going to do a lash because honestly, doing my makeup all out while I'm up here at the cabin is literally my worst nightmare because nobody sees it. It's a waste of money. Uh, waste of money as in like the makeup that you own. And then taking it off. Like, let's be real. All those people, like, girl, I love a good skincare routine. I love a good serum. I love a good exfoliator. But mama has to be like in the mood to do that and if you think that i'm not someone who like struggles with taking their makeup off at night like <gasps> pray for me um yeah i still struggle with that it's just such a hassle it's just so annoying and if i have cleansing water with me like the micellar water no big deal no biggie i don't have it with me so like the odds of me taking my makeup off slim to none we have our foundation on wonderful great now we are going to do concealer also i swear i know i say this every single time and it might be boring to see this every single time but the it cosmetics cc plus and illumination i swear on my life on my dog's life this is i just found my concealer god bless um this has seriously saved my skin i think it helps with my acne scars and my hyperpigmentation i know for sure like sure as hell it helped with my acne so yeah oh i forgot i wanted to try it whoa it just got really bright all of a sudden whoa whoa so ew okay me um i forgot i wanted to try something new with my concealer but okay never mind guess not <laughs> i was like maybe i'll just try it on one eye no okay so the sun's gonna play some games today that's fine Sun. I was about to say it's fine, but <clears throat> annoying. Okay, we're going to blend our concealer out. Oh my god, wait. Okay, we have it. We have it. Oh, but I have to wet it. God damn it. I also hate blending my concealer with sponges. I feel like it just soaks up the product. Um, where's my setting powder? Where's it? Code red. Code red. Wait, I, oh, never mind, I found it. Not code red, code red diverted. Let me go with this. I'm never prepared to know what we're actually looking like. Did it get bright again? Who knows? Okay, let's blend this concealer out. Uh, the Shape Tape Concealer, which again, don't really understand the hype about it. Same old, same old, blase, blase. I really do like this sponge though. Like, I think that for the price point versus the beauty blender which is like so expensive like you might as like it's the same thing in my opinion beauty blender who and i like this because i also use it for my powder and it works really well Ugh, see i feel like sponges just soak up everything does nobody else feel that way also i feel like you're a little too close i feel too intimate i feel too <laughs> exposed <laughs> lol um okay we're just gonna put a little more a little more maybe you know who what okay 
I really have been loving Get Ready With Me videos, like watching them. Um, I don't watch a ton of YouTube anymore, but I really love watching Get Ready With Me videos. I think they're just so fun and you actually feel like you're hanging out with someone. So I really hope, like, let me know, like, while you're watching this video, what are you doing right now? Like, are you eating? Are you getting ready? I find myself getting ready to them or I eat to them, which is why I love mukbang videos so much. Um, cause I love eating while I watch them cause it's like you're eating with someone and I love eating alone, which people find so weird, but like, I really do love eating alone. Um, peach perfect setting powder. Blech, blech, blech. Blech. Okay. If I were to pull this up, that would be the worst idea of my life. Cool. <laughs> that, so I went to LA last weekend for Lori Harder's, uh, bliss event. No, what was it? The Bliss Project. Um, I was like, it wasn't just called Bliss. The Bliss Project. When I went for that event, I wore heels that day, which like I looked cute as hell. See on Instagram. But I normally don't wear heels. Like I'm just not someone who like pretend to like heels. But I thought that they would be a comfortable enough. Like it wasn't like a big heel. It wasn't like, ooh, damn girl, like work, like strut, like daddy, who is she? But like it was a chunky heel. So I thought it was a safe bet. Not a safe bet. The back of my heels are toe the f up. Um, I have scabs like scabbing and um I was with Amanda Bucci and Angie Lee which follow both of them love them to pieces and I was like you guys like my feet really hurt like I think I'm gonna have to take my shoes off and I just like am not that girl like I just can't I just my mother would roll over in her grave so I kept them on and I think towards the end of the night like the very very end oh I think I took them off when we got to the lobby like when we left the actual event and um oh, this powder tastes so good this is the Too faced peaches matte setting powder not very matte though to be honest um and oh my god did i just cough powder <laughs> pretty sure i just coughed powder um literally the back of my heels are like gone like achilles who <laughs> like it's gone she doesn't exist anymore uh but the event was so much fun and i actually met a few of you guys which was so interesting. I didn't even talk about going to the event until I was at the event. Maybe I should have said I was going, um, but I definitely am going to go next year. So if you guys don't follow Lori, Lori Harder, I love her. I love her and her husband. They both have podcasts. They're both amazing. Um, her is Hers is Earn Your Happy, and then his is something about money. Um, but look up Lori Harder and Chris Harder. I love both of them on Instagram as well. I'm using my Makeup Forever pro finish powder i love this powder this is the shade 117 um i'm finally hitting pan on it i've had this stuff for years it's honestly probably expired but mama paid a lot of money for it so but yeah love them love their podcast the event was amazing it was all just about like women coming together and like finding your tribe and everything like that um and it was just so amazing and all the speakers were great lori was great all of you were great yeah she actually has a book coming out called a tribe called bliss um i'm gonna do a giveaway i ordered a few copies to give away to you guys um but just awesome awesome woman man uh but moral of the story is my heels got toe the f up so that's my powder <laughs> i literally am baked and glazed like a donut right now baked like a donut with that powder mm, let's see little bronzer i've been using my shade and light palette simply because that's what i packed for my la trip and right now i have my travel makeup bag would you guys would want to see a what's in my travel makeup bag video like i know people don't really do those anymore oh i hit pan cap on d you're welcome um but i don't know if people really do those anymore but i really like watching those videos i really love empties videos i love the like old school videos um i actually get requested a lot to do a what's in my purse video but like plot twist i don't really use a purse like ever i have my mom wallet and that's pretty much all that i use mm -hmm. eat breathe bronze for life mm. always bring it down duh I haven't used this stuff in so long. I forget how much I like it, but I only like this palette when I'm self-tanned, when I already have like some color in my skin. Otherwise, I feel like it's too much for me personally. We really love the two lighter shades. As we could tell, 
got my money's worth out of this palette. Oh my god. Yeah. I feel like it's really nice setting powder. I could be wrong, but I think it is. Makeup, I want it to be just super like neutral and just like bronzy and glowy. That way it's not like, oh shit, shiitake mushrooms. I'm getting makeup all over my meditation pillow that I'm sitting on to film this video. Uh, of course, my my little pony's helping me film. Hi, Brody. Hi. Hi. Um, using, of course, my Marc Jacobs Flesh and Fantasy Blush. This stuff's like my ride or die. Um, but I just want my makeup to be super, like, neutral and just, like, bronzy, glowy, light glam. Okay, so I bought a new highlighter. Are you dying? By the way, Haley's okay. She's fine. She has a new almost $4,000 pancreas. Not a new pancreas, but it's worth that much now. Haley, how you doing, girl? Okay, so... Ult Morphe is now in Ulta, and as someone who doesn't have an affiliate code, has never talked to Morphe in their life, one of the few people who is not kissing Morphe's ass and has nothing to do with Morphe, I wanted to try things out. And like, I know a lot of, I have a lot of friends who are like affiliates of Morphe, and I like a lot of people who are affiliates of Morphe, but I just wanted to try it and actually see if the shit was legit. I feel like I need more bronzer. Me every second of my life. It smells like a Caribbean dream. Great, 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 great. But I got this little M510 brush and I thought it looked like a cute little highlighting brush. So we're gonna get all up in this. And I think I've used this once before, the brush. But to be honest, I think I used it on top of my highlighter brush I already used. So I don't really remember. I feel like the brush needs to be bigger, but I did buy another one. Let's try it. This one. But this looks like too, oh, too dense of a brush. Mmm, this could be a no-no, but we'll try it. Like, everyone just shit, talk, shit talks these brushes and say that they just, like, fall apart. I feel like it's not picking up the product. try a different highlighter okay let's throw some of this on this side just to balance out what's not really there you getting all bright again ruining my time Brody what do you think about this brush what's your what is your pony opinion you know what I mean like what's your pony opinion okay we'll go back to the little one because I feel like I used this and I did like it like I was like ooh, okay this is picking this up well whoa too much okay bold Marissa bold you know what? what's a little like dramatic highlighter am i right do a little makeup setting spray this is the pixie makeup fixing mist with rose water and green tea i swear by this stuff it is amazeballs <laughs> give yourself a splash zone sort of spray as if shamu himself one of him one of many shamus came up and took vengeance for all of his friends dying in captivity. Too far, too much? Anyone seen Blackfish? Like, okay, I'm a powdered donut, don't worry, I'm not gonna wear this out in public. <laughs> Was going to, but I ruined that. Update, found my eyebrow pencil, we are good to go. Also grab my lashes, which these are lashes for days, pro lash, uh, I found them at TJ Maxx for $8, and you know, not a bougie bitch, so here we go. I also picked up this Morphe palette, because again, wanna know. And this is the 9B Bronzed Babe, which they look really pretty. I also wanted to look at the Jaclyn Hill palette because if I'm confused about any product, it's probably that more than anything. But um, when I, they were all sold out. But when I swatched it at the store, it looked nice to me. It looked nice to me. And I know what you're all wondering. And no, I have not gotten my eyebrows done still. You know what? I just like making an appointment this is what I have a trouble trouble with. This is why I can never keep up with my nails. You have to like make an appointment, you have to go in, you sit there, and it's just like, I feel like I'm wasting my time. I feel like there's so many more productive things that I could be doing. You're probably like, Marissa. Shut up. 
Um, okay. Let me tell you though. I don't know if it's the longer I go, they get easier or harder to do. I genuinely don't know. I feel like it's... <laughs> I literally was about to be like, I just don't care. I don't care. But I do care what my brows look like sometimes. Sometimes. Ugh. But no one's ever been like, Marissa, we need to talk about your brows. I've never received a hate comment about my brows, so that has to be a good sign, right? Has to be a sign? This sun is really messing with me. Um, okay, other brows. My cousin brows. My neighbor brows. My neighbor down the block brow. Oh my god, over here. Ouch. Do you ever have something itch so bad it like hurts? That moment you can't talk while doing your brows. I'm so happy to be filming today though. I honestly was in my own head for so long about like YouTube and filming and just like stuff that I was wanting to do and just create for so long. Like it's so easy, like it's so easy to get in your own head about like, like kind of like perfectionism, but just like, I don't know, literally being like your own biggest roadblock. Like. I truly feel like I, the only reason I wasn't filming or doing anything is like, I was just like, no, it's not good enough. Or like, oh, I'm not good enough. Or like, oh, X, Y, and Z is not good enough. Like, I could give a million examples, but it's all the same thing. It's all like, I'm not good enough. Or, you know, that won't be good enough. Or I, it won't be how I envision it. And it's like, no, it's not about that. It's like most of the shit that I do, it like is about the message more than like, the actual visual content you know what i mean which i feel like is why i really enjoy um like the following that i have and like you guys are so awesome and you really understand like how my brain works and stuff so it's really nice knowing that people are like i don't know that it's not all like so superficial you know like it's not all just about silly things like that i feel like i'm making absolutely no sense um story of my life feeling like you're making no sense but I also got a morphe eyeshadow brush but tbh I hate it this is a m433 m433 it's like literally so thin so sticking with my sigma one I've had for literally 84 years now oh I'll have a good okay oh no we're gonna use the other palette okay where's the other palette where did I put it but you know what I mean like literally you can get so like picture at just your work if it's like an office job or if it's like at school like you get so overwhelmed by the task at hand that you don't even start it because you already feel like you're gonna fail when really that's just a limiting belief and it's just like this message in your head that you're letting other people like put into you where the f like I literally just had that palette is anyone else shook oh found it <laughs> Um, and like we all go through that and I know that y'all are probably shaking your head like Marissa we all go through it it happens to everyone but it's like ugh, I just hate that I get in my own head so much you know what I mean um, and I know it's life and it happens to everyone but when it does happen man it's really hard to break it sometimes I was actually talking about that on Instagram like I'm someone where if I have so much going on whether it be with work or personal life or just like mental health stuff like I have so much this is a very cheaply made palette I feel like the mirror is about to pop out um but I feel like if I have so much going on in any area of my life like growing up I was never really taught how to process a lot of things so like it's all these things that I went through in my life <laughs> watch my draw my life I have not really started to affect me until recently and have not like maybe the past like year and a half so it's like I'm learning how to cope I feel like for the first time and like just dealing with change I'm not very good with or I don't know it's just so weird you know um 
I don't know. Life's just so funny, man. But like in the best way possible. Like I'm very grateful for all the things that I went through as a kid and like as a teenager that really made me so strong and like independent from an early age. But at the same time, like I don't really wish that on anyone, you know? It's like, did I really want to see my mom trying to kill herself all the time? No. But did it give me like a really good look and non-judgmental view on mental illness and like suicide and everything like that and just like relationships in general too like i never realized how unhealthy it was viewing all the stuff that my parents used to do and go through and everything like that like i thought that was normal like my dad used to take shots of like whiskey when he was like cooking dinner like back to back and like as an adult now like obviously drinking and understanding alcohol more like no that's not normal like we shouldn't take shots of alcohol every night a week you know what i mean um so it's very interesting like that's my little rant about that but i'm very happy to be filming i'm happy to be feeling back like myself and i just like i don't know man i keep saying i don't know i know but it's good to feel like yourself you know it's good to feel like yourself <laughs> it's good to feel like you um okay let's put some mascara on best mascara in the world um two face better than sex and i'm gonna pop some lashes on and i'll be right back okay guys i'm now done with my makeup look i really like how it turned out i ended up not doing lashes i actually did a little instagram live with you guys really quick um and was just talking to you guys and the lashes ended up to be crap i saw someone talking about these on instagram i thought my friend brie talked about these but these can't be it these are trash i literally tried pulling them off and they're like snapping in half so don't buy these i never tell people not to buy a product but save your money girl you work hard for that coin not today but my lip combo i get asked about it all the time on instagram and also if you guys aren't part of our instagram family marissa lace on instagram changed it back <laughs> after um a few glasses of wine with my friend and she was telling me i should and i was very influenceable influenceable influential I don't really know how that would go but it's the liquid lip by ColourPop their Alexis Ren collection and Sunday fun day by Too Faced on top this is my favorite lipstick in the whole wide world it smells amazing it stays on really well love it and also I put some deodorant on this is the deodorant I use it's vegan and cruelty free and natural and it's La Vanilla the healthy deodorant I love it um, and yeah just set my face and that's it Oh my god, why is it so bright? Why did no one tell me? You guys didn't even tell me it was so bright. <laughs> okay, I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know how you like this little backdrop um, on Instagram Live. You guys said you really liked it. Um, and yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me know down below what you guys want to see besides see me paint my nails for once because <laughs> same, same. So I love you guys to pieces and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.